et de la Kagana Bonante. Afame Funa. Ça? Et ce qu'on Take off like that next time. Come, look at me. Are you okay? You sure? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Please don't do that again, okay? All right? Please. Jesus. Quincy, go leave me. Go leave me. Yeah, mama, boy, you. Hey! Go leave me. Yo, yo, yo. What are you leaving? Okay, we move. Go leave me. Yeah, mama, boy, you. Well, go leave me. Yo, yo, yo. Masina, chio. Golibe, Golibe, na mama ki musiri ki ke o. Golibe yo yo yo, mata Golibe, mata makata ma, makata makata, makata makato makata ma, makata makata, mata dima, mata makata ma. Oh makata ma yo yo, oh makata ma, makata makata o, mata dima. See Pesi, your father is going to pay me millions so. <laughs> he is going to pay me millions for making this kind of hairstyle for you. Ha! The papa go pay me plenty money you because he know easy. He know see as you fine. He just find out like mommy water. Hey, did I say mommy water? Mm -mm. You are looking like Queen, Queen Elizabeth. So I look like the dead queen. You see? I look like the dead queen. Hey. Queen, don't die. <laughs> no, I was just saying the... Younger version, when he never die, when she's still there young, yeah, like your age. Mm. So what's the name of this hairstyle? Sorry? What is this hairstyle called? Hey. <laughs> I don't call this one. You know at Mankasa. You know at Mankasa. You know Noam. Okay, you can call this one um, uh, Psychedelia. Uh, you call them Psychedelica. Uh, Any one way you choose. What's that? Hand me the mirror. They never reach the mirror side, my dear. They can finish first. The mirror. Hey, the prince is bad habit to watch your face when you are not done with your hairstyle. Please, let me finish. Hmm? Hand me the mirror. this is a hairstyle look. you know like I'm looks weird lose it sorry lose it <laughs> sister I've gone through a lot <laughs> I'm losing this thing I've gone through a lot already 
Let's leave it like this. You will like it. Let me finish first. But did you know about this? I'm going inside. Uh, please come, come. Come, let me complete this here. Please. It's your girl again sending warm greetings. Welcome to another edition of your favorite entertainment program on radio. The greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. Great words from the great Madiba, Nelson. Quincy, I beg, let's go and finish this here. I have other things to do. Make I finish up, sharp, sharp. Well, let me listen to Auntie Julia first. Ah. Wait, you won't begin to give person where they is I radio. Attention, pass me where they see. I love Auntie Julia very much. <laughs> person will not even know you. Somebody that doesn't care about you. I love who she is and I love her. This talk will be in that thing. We don't be too childish. Come, let's go and finish this thing. I'm wasting my time. Yeah. Uh -uh. Now your daughter, oh. see, person where they make her, oh. person where they take care of her hair. Next thing she says, she won't leave me. Go, they listen to one door, door baby, with the inside radio. I don't understand. And she do like that a door. She's my favorite presenter. Huh. I beg, leave that to make we go do what we do. I know we get time for all these things. Oh, you and your auntie Julia. Uh, Hobby, if little girl wants to listen to the radio, then you should let her. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. See the head, how do you see it? I never knew. I finished all guys' skills. Never come upstairs, I want to show you something. He's about to distract me. You don't get to have a brother, do you? Um, when you're done, we'll go for a stroll, okay? Okay. Can you be going to dance, Mom? Slow down, slow down. 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 Julia. Hi, Mr. Victor. I'm glad you're here to give him support because this guy here is not in shape. Don't worry, he's going to be fine. What's going on? Well, um, I can do better. The other guys were here, Tony beat me with the first position, and Kochi here, he wanted me to stay back so I could put in extra work. Why is that? I thought you always have Tony's numbers. Yeah, that was last year. I used to beat him with five seconds, but I guess it's everybody's world. We should be generous enough to share success. Mm, I see. Gotcha. So enough of that. Tell me, how is my baby, my girl, my mm. girlfriend doing? Fiance. The last time I checked, fiancé means way better than girlfriend. Well, um... So, address me properly. Me wifey. Mm -mm, not so fast. So I can please you? Of course you do. When Ben, the sprinter, becomes Ben, the pet lion. <laughs> And Julia Martins, the superstar radio presenter, turns into... Into <clears throat> what? A tiger, a tigress, lioness, <laughs> cheetah, all the female felines 
join in one that is what you become. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's why Tony is beating me in the first position, mm. so... But I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm mm. glad you're good. <laughs> I'm glad you're good, sir. Come here. Mm. You're good. Hey! You go like this. Hey! Hey, bro! Hey! That is how you do it every day. Now I want to give you tips on how to get flat on. So how to get six packs? What do you mean by with your... Don't you want to... Are you not a young girl? Don't you know that you are supposed to have flat on? Follow me. Go like this. We have to bring in Quincy for another surgery. What are you talking about? I thought you said she was going to be fine after the last one. What are you saying? Can we go somewhere and talk about this? I wouldn't want her to hear about this. Okay. You know what? Just, just give me the worst. I'm listening. Give me the worst. Go. She has retinoplastoma. Cancer of the eyes. I know. I know. Tell me something I don't know. She was born with it. And after the last surgery, you told me specifically that she was going to be okay. So what are you saying? Listen, the tumors are fast growing. It's growing into the other eyes. To, to, to stop further spreading, we have to do this operation. Else you might lose a, a sight. Yes. So what you're telling me is, there's no remedy. There's nothing we can do. My daughter cannot lose her sight. She cannot lose her sight on both eyes. What are you seeing? She's already gone blind on one eye. You cannot let her go blind on the other eye. It's not possible. But what are you saying? That is where we need to take action now. What's wrong, Dad? What's your Bianca? Baby, you're fine. Uh. This is about me, right? Come here, you'll be okay. Okay. Hey, Felix. Yeah, um, cupcakes. Everything is fine. Okay. this life, one has to be happy with who they are, comfortable in their own skin, their own reality. Because what makes me cry might not make the next person cry. Same goes for what makes me laugh. <laughs> I am tempted to love the way we turns you into an instant philosopher. I should make use of one of your lines in my program. 
weed. When have you ever seen me smoke weed? And by the way, what program are you talking about? Come on, my darling. Don't tell me you don't know that I'm a super on air personality now. You don't listen to my program. The live catch up one on radio. Julie? Um, sorry. <coughs> I guess you inhaled more than you can handle. Yeah. <coughs> sorry about that. This relationship is going to be the death of me. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, Help me out. Okay. Ah, uh, a moment please, Miss Julia. Listen, I don't have time for you pestering bloggers. Um, when is the wedding bell ringing between you two? And whoever told you that we are getting married? Well, the whole world already knows. Since the whole world already knows, why are you asking me? Considering the fact that you both has been an item since forever. Now you're blabbing nonsense and it's not good for a professional. Now let me advise you from one OAP to another. No, 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 no. I think you need the advice more. Ah, Miss Julia, tell yourself the truth. The whole world already knows that you're going insane. What? You know what? I really think I made a mistake listening to you. But, Miss oh, Julia, please. a minute, please. Miss Julia. Get off of my car. Can you just give me... You Get just away from my car. yourself. What? <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? Julia, what? Can I ask you two one more question? If you don't just stretch yourself now, I will you, punch you, out your mouth. Can you calm down? Can you calm down? Why flaunt my engagement ring if you don't turn getting married to me? I apologize for leaving your uncle. That's not the issue. A couple of moments ago, you were complaining that I did not properly address you as my fiancé. I thought you loved me. Of course we are in love, but you don't expect me to go about screaming to every blogger that we are getting married. This is three years. Three years of dating you. And nearly a year that we have gotten engaged. What's the problem, Julia? Oh, come on, Ben. Don't fuss about this. Let's fix a date. Let's fix a date and plan this wedding. Do we have to hurry? What? See, that's just the problem with you. Always avoiding the issue. Babe, come on. Just... Relax, okay? Calm down. Why don't the pet lion come so that the lioness can unleash herself from her? Come on, don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come back by this. Which one I won't tell you now. I won't come back in a bit. You don't suck you. You don't suck you. How is she? See, like I tell you, time don't reach where we go call nanny for this house. Time don't reach where we go call nanny. Because the stress where they go through for this house, me self, I don't tire. 
Immediately it takes more time pass when you're supposed to come back. When you never come. This girl begin cry. You know, gay I no try to console her, to calm her down. Sing the whole lullaby, the one why I know, the one why I don't know. You know, gay sweet sweet things why I don't give and make it take. Me, I don't tire. I don't they walk past my normal work for this house. I don't tire. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is you're smoking, or whatever drugs you're indulging in, you better stop. No, Felix, what is the meaning of that? Now, I want to know what is the meaning of that. So, after all these things, what I do for you, now you want to pay me back. Felix, me and you now, who, who, who resemble who they take drugs? Eh? No more person, they come back by this time, you just walk out. Waka like this, like who they, who they use two by two now for body. Come back, they ask me what, what, the drugs you are taking. I know they like them, don't they become in short now? See, person, all the stress where I go through. Now, this thing won't take pay me. she be tomorrow now, she will begin crying. Now, this house, you will know. Dad, you don't come home late. Why today? Hey, cupcakes. I'm sorry, okay? And I promise it will never happen again. And uh, by the way, your uncle told me you were crying today. What happened? Since mom died, you always read my bedtime stories. Okay, I promise that I will read your bedtime story now. So when are you and Dr. Bianca getting married? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Listen to me, cupcakes. Myself and Dr. Bianca, we're just friends. And friends don't necessarily get married. I know she likes you, that's why she comes here often. And I think you like her too. <clears throat> um, first of all, you think a lot. And for friendship to work between two people, they have to like each other. So, bedtime stories? <clears throat> So long, long time ago, mm -hmm. there lived a beautiful gypsy mm -hmm. far away. And she was the most beautiful of all creatures. Keep things to themselves and cry at their closet as if it will lessen their burden. 
I know Auntie Bianca visited because of my eye. I know my one remaining eye is going bad again. That is why I stumbled on that piece of stone the other day. Not so. Will the doctors remove my eye again, as they removed the other one? That means I will not be able to see anything again. I will be blind. Please, Dad, if they are going to remove my eye, grant me these wishes. I wish to see Julian Martins, the radio presenter, with my eyes before I become a blind girl. I wish to touch Julia Martins. And I wish to hug Julia Martins. This is all I ask for. I love you, Dad. Nightmares are becoming too rampant. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they are coming in various forms. I'm scared for my cousin's life. Okay. We are going to go to the hospital tomorrow. Okay. But I'm sure she's fine. Hello, am I on to Crystal Effort? Yes, please. How may we be of help? Okay, um, please, I would love to book an appointment with uh, Julia Martins, the presenter of the Julia Sketchup Show. Julia Martins does not work for this radio station. Julia's Sketchup is a private program independently produced. Okay, please, I am I'm not a media person. I am I'm an engineer. So, I don't know if you can explain to me in simple terms so I can understand. Sir, so Ketchup is not in live program. She usually records it and sends here for us to broadcast. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Would you mind sharing me her personal number then, so I can contact her? That would be a privacy breach, sir. I'm sorry if that would be all. Oh, yes, yes, I understand, I understand. All right. I guess. Oh, no, no, no. On the contrary, I was uh, on my way to the hospital to see you. Oh, Quincy. No, no, no. This is fine. It's okay. Yes, sir. By the way, um, do you know of any um, radio presenter called Julia, Ju Ju Julia Martins? Yes, of course I do. Everybody knows her. Oh. Yeah, I enjoy her program too. Quincy um, made a request on a wish list that she gave me that she would love to meet with her before the surgery. Oh. So have you tried reaching her on any of our social media platforms? <laughs> you mean like Facebook? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or something. You know, Julia, I am not... Um, I'm not really big on social media like that. Come on. Okay, don't worry. I'll do that. I'll message, I'll message her myself. Wait. You think she'll respond? Yeah, she should. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Your little girl has made a request. I mean, a very touching one at that. We should respect that and try and make it possible for her. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so let me start with Instagram. You know, why don't we uh, take it inside? Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, alright. If she was standing in front of me right now, I wouldn't know she was the one. 
Really? Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. Why? Why? Because she's very popular. Okay. She's a pretty lady. A little bit hot-headed, from what I read on the internet. But you never know. She could be a nice person, though. <laughs> but then again, I am curious as to why my daughter is obsessed with her. A wish list. Don't worry, let me just refresh my page again. Just be patient. I'll show you what she looks like. without a woman in your life. I wonder too. Yeah, that reminds me of the... <clears throat> last night. Okay. When I went to talk Quincy to bed and all that. Okay. She asked me when we were getting married. <laughs> wait, wait. To who? You. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving me. Come here, what are you doing? What? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? What sort of question is that? What is a doctor doing in a hospital? Oh, yes, yes. You're not a doctor, right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> go, 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 go. oh my God. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you, too. How? Oh. Oh, look at you, you look good. Thank you. Hey, Hi. Um... What's going on? What happened? Um, don't worry, it's <laughs> nice to see you, okay? Same here. I would love us to catch up, okay? Sure. Don't worry, I'll You transferred everything to our daughter. Look. Doctor, talk to me. How are they? Mr. Felix, you have a baby girl. My wife? Doctor, how is my wife? Doctor! Doctor! Dad? Dad? Hey, cupcakes. You're thinking about them. You will be alright, okay? You will be alright. I'm ready, let's go for a stroll. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's, let's go. I told you I don't want to drink. I take it that means you're still not ready to tell me why you took on your heels at the sight of that lady. I should be asking you who the lady is. So you 
it all belongs. Whoever the lady is to me is not the issue. You know you were visibly frightened at the sight of her. How convenient. Oh, please, cut me that crap. Listen, you know I can smell infidelity from a million miles away. Infidelity? <laughs> Can't believe this. You mean you, you put up this, this strange behavior over some unfunded suspicion? You haven't seen this strange behavior yet. Listen, I work my ass and my brains off to build this public status for myself. And I'm not going to let you ruin it by your association with some riffraff girl. All girls. Excuse me. But not with what has been said and done. Be right or wrong. With you, it all. Swinging like a horse, swimming like a horse, swimming like a horse. Dad, you can feel me now, Dad. Sometimes you treat myself and say you're baby. Because you're my baby, you're my big baby, and you will forever be my baby. Okay. I want you to reassure me that you're not tired of me because of my illness. Your illness? Who is ill? Ever since I was born, I brought you nothing but pain. I wish it wasn't so. I wish I brought you only joy. Cupcakes, listen to me. I love you very much, okay? And you have brought me nothing but joy. And I love you. I love you very, very much. And nothing is going to change that. Okay? And don't say you're sick. You just have a little issue with your eye. And that we will solve together. I will not relent. I will do everything and anything within my power. And I will not give up. I will not relent. Alright? You smile for me now. I love you, Dad. I love you too, my baby. So now, I am going to lift you up again like my baby. You ready? <laughs> Come here. Yes, like a big one. <laughs> so even like a <laughs> I said we will be on our way. Dad, what? since I can't see Julia Martins before I go blind, why not allow me to at least hear her voice? She feels like an angel to me. Come on, let's go, please. Oh my goodness. Mom, are you going blind? Have eye cancer. Oh, Mom, come on, sir. <laughs> Madam, please forgive my daughter, please. She's just Sorry. obsessed. Hey, God will perfect your healing. Hmm? Our God will perfect your healing. What God cannot do does not exist. Mom, you don't name. Let me increase it for you, okay? Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. What I want us to meditate on today is our strength over failure. Why do you keep running away from your shadow? You took the question right out of my mouth. What are you doing? Why? It is not me the want. It is your burden. So why did you stop giving me nightmares that makes me so scared as if I am the one that is the target? I need your help. You can turn your back on me now. That's why I need you. No, I cannot, okay? I have done everything I can for you. And you know what? You need to stop hurting me. Stop giving me nightmare, okay? Just leave me alone. Go away, Jenny. Just leave me alone, Jenny, okay? Leave me the hell alone. I don't owe you anything. Stop coming to me. I Julie! Just, just leave me alone, okay? Just everybody should just leave me alone. Leave me alone! Leave me alone!
and disturbing you no matter what you do no matter how you try you can never hide can never hide from yourself no matter what you do you can never run can never hide from yourself Babe, your cousin had a safe delivery. I personally confirm that she is back home safe with her husband and the child. So why are you still having this, the nightmare and the delusion? Every day both me a nightmare. I don't understand you these days. One moment, you're normal. The next, you're acting all, all sorts of weird. Ben, please. Please what? Please what? You have been keeping a whole lot of secrets. And from what I know, people who keep secrets, they are very dangerous. Yes. It will keep haunting you, disturbing you. That lady. No matter what you do. Who is she to you? It will stay with you. You know what's how she got to do this? I asked the question. Okay, um, we both served in Plato. We had a fling, but well, why are you even obsessed with this? You just said you both had a fling. And you're asking me why I am obsessed with it. Oh, for goodness sake, Julia, you are so disjointed. I just mentioned the fling just now. Don't just shut what up. What about your history? Shut up, Ben. Shut up already. I'm telling you, you know, say that time we were small. Now, so they could tell us some kind of story, thinking say we'll be small children. They could tell us, say, and I saw Toto is still gave rain. Toto is good reason from head. Say the reason from leg. The reason from hand. Say Toto is sometimes safe. Go one tiger. He go one lion. But all those things they happen for you too, nobody came to what they thought that and say, everybody can die. They can't remember that is. So how did you borrow brain from tortoise? Like you, you know not say you go borrow brain from tortoise before. See, make I tell you if to say you know be doctor, just say you don't become doctor already. Normally now tortoise brain you suppose they use. <laughs> Program. Really? Yes. I have an exciting news for you. What? I bumped into Julia Martin earlier today in my office. Wow! You did? Uh, yes, I did. Did you tell I'm dying to meet her? <sighs> we didn't really have much time to talk about that, but trust me. The guy who she was with is my friend. Yes. Wow. Don't worry. I will organize a meeting with you and her very soon. I promise Thank you. Thank you. All right, baby. I'm so excited. Um... Tell me here. I won't understand. Please don't say that, okay? Wait. It's for your child and a care home. An interest I developed lately. You know 
you are such a, a terrible liar. Huh? It's okay, I can't trust you anymore. Keep down. You can never hide for yourself. You never hide the truth. is gone but not with what has been said and done. don't be scared I'm not this is my house you're right I've got an information for you if you're looking for my dad there is no vacancy in his heart Dr. Bianca already occupies that <laughs> of course oh, no I am not here to see your dad I'm actually here to see you and um, give you this. Like I always do. Do you love Ben? Yes, I am. I hope you like them. Why are you hiding them? Why are you going down the secrets? I know you're too smart for your age, right? But I have to go now. Will you not answer my question? I have to go. But just know that I'm your friend, okay? Hey, cupcakes. What is this? And who brought it? The mysterious Mother Christmas has been dropping those gifts. No matter what you do, it will stay with you. So glad I didn't lose your number. <laughs> uh, thank God you didn't. So what happened? After service, you just disappeared and you stopped picking my calls. Um, unexplainable pressures. And if I explained, you wouldn't have understood. Ooh. So what about the pressures now? Um. Well. Yeah, I missed you. Missed you. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Dr. B. Yeah. <laughs> You okay? Come on, talk to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's go. What? Um, yeah, just drop me off, okay?
Please. Please. Wait, leave him, leave him. No, no, call dad. Remove your hand from the eye. Call dad. You say this your eye. Every time you go, they do kebe 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 like traffic lights. Leave him, leave him. Make... No, dad. Call dad. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Call dad. Wait, Tina Sansan. No, call dad. Wait, Tina Sansan, they enter this eye. Make it blow. Wait. Valerie, please come over to the house, okay? We need to talk. Just come. You ask a whole lot of questions. Just get here first, okay? Hi. Don't. Don't come near me, okay? I don't know you. I don't have any business with you. So do not baby, come baby, close baby, to me. Okay. Do not come close to me. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Are you okay? Are you okay? I can see now, Dad. Oh my God. You almost gave me an heart attack. Jesus. Are you sure you can see? Yes. How many fingers are this? Come on, Dad. It's three fingers. Four. Like this. Five. <laughs> six. In the sea. Leave this one. In the sea. Nothing they do. I'm tell and say, leave your father. Leave your father. You go figure I'm heart attack or go even pursue him. Enter accident. She just did my eye, my eye. Don't watch face, everything. How many fingers are this? Four. I tell you, say the see well. How are you beginning? You the see road where, where, where? Leave my daughter alone. Baby, let me feed you. Please I'm in the house and there's no one here. Girl, you're scaring me right now. I don't like this. I said there's nobody in this house. I'm... Please, whatever it is that's going on, just come back here. Hurry, please. I'll just be waiting, okay? Shut the door! <laughs> 
And it's especially with the girl involved. The girl involved. What girl? Listen, Valerie, this is not time for you to ask me questions, okay? I need to leave this place. I need to go away. You know, you're not, you're not serious, right? Girl, you need to calm down. This whole thing, I need Do to Do not ask me to calm down. Are you coming to help me pack on it? No, girl, listen. No, you can't do that. Remember we have an interview in two days and I already told the producer that you'll be ready. Cancel it. I can't. <laughs> Julie. What out there has it already that you're hiding some dark secrets? We need this interview. We need to save your face and career. Please. I no longer care. See this girl. Please, if I don't tie out. Since we doctor, I can't enter here. I can't do check off her eyes. Now, so the girl, they praise for since they praise game. Yeah, they ask her, how you take the sea with you? She be you get eye problem. How you take the sea with you? They praise there. Now, so she go keep eye like this, like a danger one eye. Baby, uh -huh. hmm? how do you not know that that's not a nice thing to say? This is not a joke. Please. It's a joke. I tell you too like serious. Nothing cherry actually. Um, it's just that at this point we have determined that the tumor is still confined to the cognac. Uh, that sounds disturbing, really disturbing. I know. It's just that we have a little more time to stretch our hopes. I've sent our results to a friend in the US for a further consultancy advice. Well, all the same, it all boils down to having the social protect. Yes. In case of recurrent retinoblastoma, a patient has a very high risk of developing a brain tumor. Oh God, God, why am I talking to you? Excuse me? Uh, no, I, was, I wasn't talking to you. Um, by the way, were you able to get the number of um, Julia Martins? Damn the interview, Val. Okay, I am going to tell people about myself the way I want to say it on my program. Are you going to help me pack or not? You know, that wouldn't be exactly the same thing as confiding in the public through an independent presenter. to do it only on one condition 
The interview has to be here in my place. It's a live interview. You better take it or you leave it. That's the only way I can do it, okay? No crowd, just the presenter and I. Julia. Are you expecting anyone? No, I'm not. Um, please, whoever it is, just tell the person that I'm not in, okay? Please. Yesterday is gone. But not with what has been said and done. Um, forgive my intrusion, you must be Julia Martin. And you're Sorry, forgive my manners as well. Engineer Felix. Engineer Felix, yes. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you. Spider of Sorry, all the disguise. Not Julian. You must be a fan. Uh, no. Uh, yes, yes. And I I have an I have an eleven year old daughter. Yes, and um She's a big fan of Julia's work. She mm -hmm. she listens to all of her programs. As a matter of fact, she's addicted to her voice. Yes, and uh, she's scheduled for an eye surgery soon. Her one wish is to set eyes upon Julia before it happens. Yes. She might lose the other one. Trust me, this will mean the world to her. If not, I would not be here. I'm so sorry. Um, when is the surgery? In, in a few days. Can you help me, Richard? Okay. She's in Crystal Hospital. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't tell you. No, they talk this thing. Nothing will ever make you go blind for this life. I'm not saying I fear they do this thing. You suppose gay mind. Why fear they make you? And they see you as they shiver. Nothing will happen to you. This eye could come back normal. You self ginger yourself. Why do you want to make the devil uh, uh, begin laugh? When you are supposed to make the devil cry? Eh? Gay mind. That's how when I was small, anytime I asked my mom, dad would always say she's in the market. So now that you're lying, I know. So answer me. If you're the one going blind, what would you do? Wait, I even ask you first. This thing where they always the buga, I'm 11 years old, I'm 11 years old. Who tell you say 11 years old, an old woman? 11 years old, we never even know how to bath all the time because they form like say you don't know everything with your small age. Okay, if I won't go blind, you know, the last thing where I go like seeing an angel of God. You see, Auntie Julia is like an angel to me. Which guy angel is that? No, I don't know. Which guy? You don't ever see an angel when they say radio. Eh? Not before heaven, angel is there. I can go home anytime I want. Yes, yes, 
You said the girl is going blind? Yeah, that's what he said. I mean, why do you look worried as though you know the girl? You said she's my fan. Do you know how many of my innocent fans that are out there? So you're going to see her then? No, I can't. Julie, this is her only wish before she she'll probably go blind. Forever. Well, let me just stop, okay? Stop trying to tell me about this girl. I have my own problems too. And disturbing you no matter what you do. No matter how you try, you can never hide. You're right. I mean, a moment alone should help you clear this worried some head of yours. So, see your girlfriend. Um, on a second thought, baby, you know I love you. But I think I'll hold on to this. You've been taking way too much lately. Take care of yourself, okay? Felix, is the audacity for me? How can you be blocking someone else's gate? I have to convince her that this is serious. I have to. But this is not the way to go about it. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I thought I told you I don't want you around me anymore. What are you doing here, you murderer? No need. Trust me, I, I don't know what is wrong with her. Trust me, this attitude of ours is not because she caught me kissing her boyfriend or her fiancé. Well, I'm going to be here until she returns. No, come on. I don't think it's a good idea. What else do you want me to do? What else? I wouldn't forgive myself if my daughter loses her sight without seeing her. I feel like I'm failing here. Huh? I understand. And that was why I followed you here. To explain how critical her condition is. But I don't know what's really fitting out. I think you should go. Um, I'll, I'll sort this out. Maybe I'll call Ben? A fiancé. Hey Ben. Look, I'm not fine. Please, I really need your help. It's about your fiancé. Jenny, I need answers. I need answers. Because I don't understand why you will abandon me with our child. Knowing that I love you, that I still love you, why? Abandon your child? But our child is still in here. But See, 
What happened? She's kicking. Mom, I'm already here. You didn't even give me a chance to know you. I want to know you, Mom. With you, it all belongs. Jenny, we need answers. And we need it now. Pretense and lies. The truth remains with you. She made me do it. Ask her. It's all her fault. Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Stop, stop. Why? Stop, 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 stop. Take her upstairs and clean her up. Let okay. me see if she can sleep, okay? That's fine. Um, I'll fix her some coffee. Where's the kitchen? Thank you so much. It's over there by the left. Okay, all right. Hey, girl! Judy! me how she is you've caused us so much pain so much agony for someone you claim to love well you must know she's broken that is how she is and all thanks to you she's nowhere to be found what do you mean by she's nowhere to be found I practically bundled her in here from the streets last night Drunk to stupor. I cleaned her up and I laid her to bed and made sure she slept before I left this place. So what do you mean by she's nowhere to be found? Oh, you left? You left her in that condition? Oh, please. Don't even go there. For goodness sake, do you know what time it was when she sobered up and decided to send me out of this house like one little boy? So what are you doing here then? Seeing her in the condition she was yesterday, I didn't feel it was the best time to have a conversation with her. 
That's your business. I'm not interested in anything that has to do with you. I need to go look for her. We need to go look for her. Your business will be fine, okay? She has what did they see it you? Finally, finally, finally. <laughs> <laughs> For this, as you don't think we will be prepared to see you, we don't they wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know, see, as you see you now, just keep eye on you. Now, who see ghost? <laughs> Welcome, man. Eh? Thank you. You don't have to be dazed, okay? I've been getting your notes, and I had to set aside the important issues I have and think it through. And I'm glad that I came here because if I had missed this opportunity to meet this beautiful girl you have, I would have regretted it. Aww. Auntie, see I always tell people that you're like an angel to me. Hey, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see as tears of joy won't come up of my eye now. Hey, oh. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> final, final. I told you, it's over, Ben. Julia, I understand. I know we have been patching along all this while, but... Why? Why? What is he doing here? I told you, I no longer need visitors in my house. I know. I, I really think you guys should talk and trash things out. Talk what? Talk about what exactly? With a man that cheated on me? And not just with anybody, but with Fina! Fina? Who the hell is Fina? Are you serious right now? You no longer know who Fina is. She's here. Oh God. You guys must be kidding me right now. Fina is my twin sister. No. No. You need to calm down. Please. Whatever that is eating you up, or that is making you feel so hot about my late sister, she's dead. Fina died in a fatal accident two years ago. You are not Fina. I am Dr. Bianca. I'm not Fina. I know you both attended Uniport together. And she read accountancy. But here I am, I'm a doctor. So I'm not Fina. How do you mean she's your daughter? I don't know how to explain it. With you, I carried that pregnancy for nine months. I gave birth to that child. Oh, please, girl, cut me that slack. Really, you need to stop right now. What is your problem, girl? Everybody knows you've never carried a child in your life, so what is this rant all about? And this you, you, my mind is messed up. Maybe I'm going mad. Yes, you're going mad. You are, you are so going mad right now, I, I, I don't even know what to make of this. 
Girl, I'm so convinced that you need a psychiatrist, honestly. Because... No, I'm not mad. What? Julia. Like how? Is it making sense to you? Yesterday is gone. Okay, um... But not with what has the been said and done. Oh, um, Felix, right? Be right or that. wrong. No. With no. you, no. No. it no. all no. belongs. I need to look here and I'm right In spite now. of all the disguise, pretense and lies, the truth remains with you. It will keep haunting you and disturbing you no matter what you do. No matter how you try, you can never hide, can never hide from yourself. No matter what you do, you can never run, can never hide. From yourself, every day will be a nightmare and filled with so much fear. You feel so guilty of what you've done. You try to move on, but the guilt is so strong. The truth. Why would God allow this to happen to an innocent child? An innocent, beautiful child. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you. I was just thinking aloud. I, I, know, I, I know you were thinking the same thing too. The innocent child. It's my daughter. Oh. You can never hide from yourself. No much. 
maybe a week, a month. Or else the cancer cells might spread into her brain and, and harm her. No. Or even cost her her sanity. No. I keep asking God why. God, why? Take my sight. Give her eyes back. Take, take my take. You're the reason people think that I'm mad. No, Julia, you're the reason people think I am mad. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Give me that bottle back. No, you know I hate alcohol. Give it to me. No. So much incompatibility. And I wonder how we'll ever work together. Even you cannot believe what you just told me. Every word that came out of my mouth is nothing short of the truth. Val, I need your help. I need you to advise me on what to do. Yo, do you know how much damage this is going to cause to you? Your hard-earned career and reputation. Believe me. I don't think it matters. If this involves a betray to your life as well. Oh, I'll suggest to keep this to ourselves. Let it die here. I don't I don't think it's a good idea to let this out in public. Babes, for the sake of your career. I know. Then I'm scared again and confused. Everything will be okay. You just need to think this through carefully. Okay. I believe in faith. So have faith. You'll be fine. Okay. I'm so sorry that I closed up. Oh, no, no. The apology is actually ours. We didn't, um, we didn't intend to impose on you. 
Quincy was right. You're an angel. You can't call me that. I'm not fit to be an angel, okay? Don't make God angry with you. <laughs> well, I didn't mean that kind of angel. What I mean is you're... Uh, you've been a ray of light. Especially in this dark moment of our lives. My family and I, we've been happy since you came into our lives. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating me. Honestly, I don't think I can remember what it means to be happy. I have to go now. drop you off and then first thing tomorrow morning I'll tell my mechanic to come check out the car. Okay, thank you. All right. No matter what you do, it will stay with you. It will stay with you. No matter how you try, you can never can never hide from yourself no matter what you do you can never run never can hide. never hide never hide from yourself oh. did he find out you were the only one that i told i swear babes i swear i didn't say anything to anyone Come on, you know me. I wouldn't do that to you. But you know these things are bound to come out somehow. I'll, I'll excuse you, boss. How could you be so wicked? Why would you play such a cruel joke on me and my daughter? It wasn't fair on me to Felix, okay? I haven't been myself ever since I gave birth to Quincy. Make it make sense. You're not Jenny. You look nothing like her. Plastic surgery. Facial transplant and physiognomy augmentation. Science gone crazy, I guess. Why? Everything pointed to you being dead. And your family wouldn't even let me see the cops. Or were they part of the conspiracy too? This is not about my family, okay? Then it's about what? Back in the university. 
I was naive. And I joined a female court group. They were called the lipsticks. The rules were clear. No one gets pregnant unless you're married to the man the Queen Mother chooses for you. The penalty for deviating from this rule is death for the mother and child. All of this! And you could not inform me during the pregnancy. I didn't want to ruin you, okay? From what? Same reason I didn't tell my parents when I left school. Because my pregnancy was already obvious. My goodness. I'm so sorry, Felix. They came for me in my delivery bed. back home so I had to come back and I did, I did what I did Felix Felix Don't your child. A child that you carried in your womb for nine months.
I owe you an apology, Ben. My mind has been so messed up that I barely managed to hang on. I am so sorry for dragging you down with me. Well, um, it's fine, okay? You know, I listened to you during one of your programs. Quote someone. What quote was that? A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. That? Do you think he will still love you? And your daughter, will she ever take you back as a mother? Well, only time would expose the truth. Well, uh, I'll really miss you. You know, I'm, I'm glad I met you. Me too. From yourself. Why do you look so surprised? Prince you can called never me. Hide from yourself. You can never hide the truth yourself. Quincy called you. She has your number. She has more than my number. You guys get into the car, I'll join you soon. How are you? I'm fine. So when do you intend to tell her that you're her mother? I will, but that's not the extra complication she needs right now. I agree. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you, that I couldn't be there for you all these years. I wish you had told me. And I wish I had told you. Part of the reason I came back was to... to have the courage to... Hey, it's okay. It will keep haunting you and disturbing you no matter what you do. No matter how you try you know we need to take her to the hospital, right? Oh, yes. You coming? Yes. No matter what you do, you can never run, can never hide from yourself. Every day will be a nightmare. Fear. You feel so guilty of hey. what you've done. Hey, Dad, you try to me. move on, hey. but the guilt okay. is so strong. How are you? The truth remains. Yeah, and it's with you. Angel. It will keep haunting you? you, disturbing yes. you. It's me, my darling. No matter Thank what you, you do. Thank you for the beautiful gifts. The doctor said I'll be able to see you and my dad and everything again. Please give me your hand.
God has brought you and my dad together. Please marry my dad. Please say yes. Don't say no. My darling, I would have married your dad a long time ago. Even before I gave birth to you. I'm your biological mother. You, you're my mother. Imagine your rose flower, see rose flower. Your own rose flower, instead of white, is red, green, blue. You are not creative. Don't leave me alone. What is it? Yesterday is gone, but not with what has been said and done. Be right or wrong, with you it all belongs. In spite of all the disguise, pretense and lies. The truth remains with you It will keep haunting you And disturbing you no matter what you do No matter how you try You can never hide Can never hide From yourself No matter what you do You can never run can never hide from yourself Every day will be a nightmare And filled with so much fear You feel so guilty of what you've done You try to move on the guilt is so strong The truth remains Yeah Remains with you It will keep haunting you Disturbing you No matter what you do